things that we were getting really caught up on in class the other day is the difference between GDP and GNP. Honestly, it's really not as relevant as it used to be. If you're talking about an econ textbook from, say, 15 or 20 years ago, GNP is the calculation that you're much more likely to see. Today, a lot of books will just leave that out completely. But since it's in your textbook and you had some questions about it, I thought I'd go ahead and give you just a, a little quick cheat sheet demonstration of what's included and what's not. So what we've got here are the two different calculations, GDP and GNP. Across the top, money earned by Americans in the U.S. So we're talking about citizens and permanent residents and in the U.S. meaning domestically. Another category, money earned by foreign nationals in the U.S. This would be, you know, money that people earn who are here temporarily or who have no interest in pursuing American citizenship. And then the third category, money earned by Americans abroad, people who are American citizens but they're in other parts of the world. All right. Now, the biggest component here is the first one. Money earned by Americans in the U.S. is included in both. Now, it's over here that we see a difference. Money earned by foreign nationals in the U.S., it's earned in the U.S., it's GDP. It's not GNP. Gross domestic product means things that are earned domestically. Gross national product means things earned by Americans. That's kind of a shorthand way to look at it. And for the third column, money earned by Americans who are living abroad, well, that's national product. Now, these two calculations are pretty close because the biggest component here is money earned by Americans, by permanent residents domestically. So you don't see that much of a difference. But in terms of what the numbers actually mean, that's where it's, it's a different type of calculation. But the one that you really need to worry about is GDP. If you see any questions on the AP exam about this at all, it might be like one multiple choice in an answer that's not even correct. <laughs> so it might be in a choice that you're not going to pick. But because you asked, that's what it is. <laughs>